Hi, I'm Lisa Murphy and I'm the Ooey Gooey Lady. And today I'm going to teach you how to make a nylon splatter to paint with. And what you do, this is the finished product, is you dip it into some paint and then you hold it up and the kids get a splat it down and it makes great pictures. And I'll show you about those later. But first we're going to make them. Okay, so here's what you need. You need popcorn. We use cheapy cheap popcorn, whatever you got. But I'm going to tell you a secret. This is actually the Orville Redenbacher container. So I pour this into that and you'll see why here in a second. And then you need a whole bunch of nylons, whatever you can find that's cheap and you don't even have to buy them. If you ever still wear them or if you get a run in them or even if you know someone who wears actually big old full on pantyhose, you can actually cut it off at the knee and make yourself. So get yourself some knee highs. That's what we're going to use and that's what we're going to make. So what you do is you're going to pour your popcorn into your nylon and that's why I like this container because I'm gonna rest it right around this rim here and I'm gonna just literally pour it in so it makes a nice little pouch in my hand and then I'm going to tie it one time but wait this is the secret you have to then loop it through and this is where it can sometimes be confusing when I see you on the road I tell you to loop it through and loop it through and loop it through but now I'm actually gonna show you what I mean you're gonna reach your hand in you're gonna grab it and you're going to loop it through and you're going to tie it one more time but wait you're going to do this one more time three times you're going to loop it through here's the third one reach in loop it through now you're going to tie that third knot and there you go nylon splats 10 seconds perfect easy breezy but you got to have a lot of them so we're going to show you one more this is an old pair of pantyhose i don't know what they are either and anyway so you pour in Okay, that's about good. Pull it off. Bounce it down a little bit. Tie it once. And then you're going to loop it through. Second time. Loop it through. And then the third time. Now why do you have to do it so many times? Because if you do this outside on your driveway or the patio or the playground, the first couple times that this boom hits the cement if you only did it one loop time through then your nylon's gonna run and all your popcorn's gonna come flying out and then you're not gonna want to ever do this project ever again so there's three now you can keep making them and make and make them a, as oh just make tons of them make just tons of them and the best thing is that after you use them and dip them into the paint like I'm gonna show you later with some of the kids then I'm gonna show you how to clean them which is so easy because you're just gonna run it under warm water and you're gonna make it all soapy and then you're gonna hang them up to dry and you're gonna use them again and again and again and again and again and you're just gonna love that so stay tuned and I'll uh, show you how to use them and I'll show you how to clean them thanks nylon splat paintings you saw me make these a little bit ago the nylon splats I'm gonna dip them into some paint Hold it up, splat it down, and then get in and you can see what a cool design that makes. And we're going to be mixing some of the colors up so you can see what happens. And then later on, I'll show you how to wash them so you can use them again and again and again. Okay, so this is the one I've been working on. I like to mix the colors. Kids are going to come out and join us here in a second. Okay, come on in. Whichever one you want. And you can mix the colors if you want to. This is my favorite art project. Sure. Clothes. It is washable on clothes. Do this one because it's time to make flower walking. 
Make That's okay. It's watchable. Where are you going to hang your wallpaper? In our room. Green is a green. My Hi, welcome back. So as you can see, we had a lot of fun playing today with the nylon splat painters. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to wash them. So you can see they're a little painty on the bottom. And I'm going to meet you at the kitchen sink and show you how to rinse them off with soapy water and then just hang them up to dry and you'll be all set. So it's really easy. Just going to spurt some soap on it, rub it in, rub it in, rinse and rinse and rinse and rinse and rinse and rinse and rinse. And then after you get the soap off, and after you get most of the paint off, then you're just going to let that air dry. And as soon as you, uh, as once it air dries, as long as it's dry, 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 then you can go ahead and just put it away wherever you're going to store them. But best to hang them up to air dry. Then you're all set. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple colors of the rainbow, colors so bright. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple colors of the rainbow, a colorful sight. Red is a stop sign, red is a strawberry, red is a fire truck.